So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is how to add a product. So to the left, we're going to click products and then click all products. And then to the right, we're going to click add product. Where it says title, you're just going to name your product, description, give your product a description. Then we're going to scroll down, media. So this is where you add pictures of your items. Pricing, this is where you price your items. So give your product a price. Now right here where it says compare at price, you don't have to put anything here. But if you want your customers to know that you're having a sale on a product, this is going to come in handy. So basically in the compare at price box, you want to put the same price that your item is, right? So if you are having a sale, let's say that I'm having a sale on this bonnet. Originally the price is $14 but I'm gonna drop it down. So on my website, it's going to show that my bonnet is on sale. And here is an example. So let's see, I think my face mask is on sale right now. This is a new website that I'm currently trying out. So that's why it looks different. But um, okay, here's an example. So y'all see right here where it says sale. And then if you scroll down, the sale price is $7, but originally this product is $10. So as y'all can see, it's marked out and it's showing the sale price. That is what this is. Then you have the option to charge tax on your products. To the right, you have the option to add tags. Um, we're gonna scroll down to inventory. You can create a SKU, you can create a barcode. You have the option to track quantity. So basically this means Shopify will keep track of your inventory for you. You do not have to manually keep track of your items. Right here where it says quantity, this is where you're going to put how much you have of that product. So then we have weight. You need to weigh your product. I have told y'all about this before. This is very important because this is what's used to calculate shipping rates at checkout. Customs information, I don't really touch any of that. I don't need to. Um, variants. So this is where you can get all the options that you need for your product. So if your product has different sizes, different colors, material, style, title, if you have a different option, you can simply create your own option. You can backspace this and put whatever you need to put. And then over here, so let's say size. You have small, medium, large, extra large, etc. This is where you would type all that right here and it will separate the options for you. And that's pretty much how you add a product to your website. Moving on to collections. So for those that don't know what a collection is, let's go back to my site. This is what collections are. So basically this creates a page for all your items. So all my lashes is under here. All of my face mask is under here. All of my jewelry is under here. That keeps everything organized and it's easier for my customers to shop that way. So to add a collection, you're going to click on collections on the left and you're going to click create collection. So once again, let's do bonnets. You can add a description if you want to. And then you have collection type. So let's say that you add bonnets, right? You have all kind of bonnets because it has that word bonnets it's going to automatically go into the bonnet collection if you have automated selected. If you have manual selected, that means that every product you add to your site, you will manually add it to whatever collection you want. And then to the right over here, this is where you add the collection image. And that's basically how you add products and collections to your website. So on to the website, let's click on online store. And this is where you make your website. So currently, the website that I use, or theme I should say, is Brooklyn for those that are interested. And to get to the rest of the themes, you're gonna scroll down and Shopify has free themes. So we're gonna click explore free themes. These are all the themes that Shopify has to offer for free. And I'm gonna let y'all know right now, these websites are perfect for beginners. They do the job. You do not have to spend a bunch of money to get a website. I'm gonna go ahead and randomly pick one to show you guys how to edit. Let's click Venture. Add to Theme Library. 
All right, so it was just added, so we're gonna click customize. And I'm gonna let y'all know right now, this is extremely easy. And I can only speak for Shopify. I don't know about Wix, Big Cartel, any of those, but when it comes to Shopify, y'all, it's easy. Choose a theme, and all you gotta do is just add your pictures, add your text, change the colors to your liking, and that's it. And I'm about to show y'all right now just how simple it is. Okay, so with this theme, we got a couple of sections. First, we got header. So this is where you can add your logo. And as y'all can see, this right here at the top, this is our header. So you have the option to add your actual logo or you can keep your logo like this where it's just your text. Some people like that, some people don't. I'm gonna show y'all how it looks with my logo. So this is how it looks with my logo. And then at the very bottom, you have the option to size it however you want to. That, in my opinion, is way too big. So I'm gonna just size it down to 200. Then right here we have menu. So this is where you add your menu and this is what my menu looks like. Then we have announcement bar. So this is where you can make announcements at. I'm gonna show you guys really quickly how this look. So let's say I'm having a sale. Let's say 30% off site wide you can make this announcement clickable so where it says link you'll click that and you can actually link this to a collection a product a page a blog post policies so let's um choose collections let's just choose bonnets so when they click on this it's going to take you directly to the bonnets collection so that's it for the header we did our logo we did our announcement bar and we added the menu next we have slideshow so when it comes to slideshows, I always click adapt to first image. When it comes to the slide height, I check the auto rotate slide and I like to scroll over to three seconds. So down here where it says content, you're gonna click that and this is where you add your pictures for your slideshow. So I'm just gonna randomly add pictures to show you guys where it says heading. I'm gonna just put bonnets. Button label, I'm gonna keep the text, view all products, but you can change that if you want to. And then the button link, so this is bonnets, so I'm gonna click collections and I'm gonna click bonnets because I want people to click on this where it says view all products and it's gonna take them to the bonnets. And we're gonna do the same thing for this slide. Let's see, me and my sister, these are my face masks. and I'm gonna link it to my face mask collection. Next, we have collection list. So this is where you add your collection. So I'm gonna click select collection, add a couple of my collections so you guys can see how this looks on the site. So y'all see why I showed y'all how to add products and collections because it's very, very important when it's time to edit your website. All right, so that's it for the collection list. We have featured collection. Um, you don't have to have this on your website, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna show y'all what this is. I'm gonna click lip gloss and lip oil. So it's gonna show all the products within that collection. All right, and then we have image with text. Honestly, I don't, I don't do image with text, but you can if you want to. Um, when you click on this eye, Basically, when I click on it like this, it's not going to show up on a website. But if you want it to show up, then obviously you would click it again and this is how it would look. You would add a picture and then you'll add your text. I don't want this to show up on my site, so I'll click the eye again, which hides it. Or you can simply remove the section altogether. Alright, so at the very bottom we have the footer. This is the bottom of our website. So I always click show payment icons so that customers can see exactly what payment methods I accept. Um, then we have helpful links. This is one of my menus. Okay, we have follow us and I'm gonna show y'all how I add my social media to the bottom. And you can also click add content and if you wanna add text or a newsletter, you can. So this is how you add the newsletter that a lot of people have on their websites right here. And you can customize this, you can change the colors, as you guys can see, you can change the heading, the subheading, all of that. You can literally change all of this, but I'm gonna keep it like that. All right, then to the right, we have theme settings. So this is where you get real creative. So 
colors this is where you change all of the colors of the website i'm going to strictly keep it the way how it is for the sake of the video but this is where you change the colors of everything on your website to give it personality right here this is where you change the font of all the text on your website so if you don't like the way how this text look you can come here and you can change it to whatever text you would like all right or font i should say collection page so you have a couple of options you can show the product vendors show frame around the image um social media so this is where you link all your social medias at the bottom of the page so i have twitter and instagram for my business i'm gonna just show y'all the instagram once i type that in as y'all can see it has the instagram icon so if you click on that it's going to take you directly to my instagram then we have favicon so favicon um this is somewhat important you don't necessarily have to add a favicon but a favicon is this right here so y'all see where the cruiser is this is shopify's favicon they are known for the green shopping bag with the s on it this is my website this is my favicon it's a rose you can click select image and you can add whatever image you want it can be your logo it can be an emoji it can be anything whatever you want people to know your website by that's what you'll add here and it will give you that icon at the top on the desktop of course on mobile this isn't going to show up lastly we have checkout so this is where you will customize your checkout page if you want to add a background image your logo change the colors that's where you'll do that at right here. We're going to take a look at what we just did. All right, and this is our website. We got our slideshow going on. We got our collection list. We got our featured collection. And we have our footer. So the last thing I'm going to talk about is apps because that's what a lot of people like to ask me about when it comes to my website. So let's go to my website real quick. Let's go to my original website. This is my website. So as y'all can see over here, oh, it done went away, but y'all saw that little pop up. That's an app that shows all of my orders. Whenever someone order for me, it shows what they ordered what their name is and where they're from see right here this is an app another app that i have on my site is my instagram feed i also have my reviews this is another app so when you click on the jewelry I have a lot of options color length letter size now mind you i just showed y'all when you add a product you can add all these options to your product but you can't add this name text box. This is an app. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what these apps are. And I'm gonna also show y'all this free shipping bar right here. So on my website, I have two announcement bars, one announcing that I have free shipping and another one announcing that I have $1 hairpins. So we're gonna go back to the home page. To the left, we're gonna click on apps. I already have apps installed, but if you don't have any apps installed, in order to get to the apps, you're gonna click visit the Shopify app store. This is what the Shopify app store looks like. So in the search bar, this is where you would type in apps. So here are the apps that I use. For those options for the custom name necklaces, it is called best custom products. For the free shipping bar at the top, that app is called Free Shipping Bar. For my Instagram feed, it's called InstaFeed. And for my reviews, the app that I use is called Judge.me Product Reviews Privy. So this is the app that I use to send out emails, my email marketing. Um, this is also the app where when you go on my website, you will see this notification popping up saying, hey, sign up to our emailing list and you'll save 15% off sales pop up social proof so this is the app where i get my sales to pop up on my website this is that app right here and that's basically it y'all this is pretty much how you make a website on shopify for free those are the apps that i use that's how you get them they're all free and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.